for a swell battle. Here's a real high-class belt. This match will get red hot. And begin! my top 10 tips for college freshmen. Get involved. Getting involved is probably one of the best things you can do for yourself as a college student, period. So getting a head start as a freshman can one, help you build your professional resume a little sooner, and two, you become more familiar and more engaged with your new campus. And also, getting involved helps you meet tons of new people. It's just a really great way of infusing yourself into your new community. Being involved on campus can actually make or break your entire college experience. Your involvement on campus really gives you your views of your campus and your college as a whole. The life of an uninvolved college student compared to the life of one that is involved is probably exceptionally different. And they both probably feel different ways about their campus solely because of their involvement. So get involved as soon as possible and do any and everything that you can possibly do that interests you. Take advantage of every opportunity. A major thing that I learned in college is that sometimes you have to get through one door in order to get to the next door. And sometimes that first door is probably not as attractive as the door you want to be at. But the beauty of most journeys lie in the ugly parts. Like sometimes you really want one position but you gotta get through that ugly, paper stapling, phone answering, garbage disposing, internship in order to get to the door that you actually want. So just stay patient and take the opportunities as they come to you. Create relationships with your professors. Professors will now become your new reference sources. Yeah, you may still keep in contact with your high school history teacher, but after a while, your high school references won't be as useful as your college professors. So creating this relationship involves getting to class on time, emailing them after class for extra help, engaging in conversations after class, or just simply saying hi when you see them walking around on campus. Creating relationships with your professors is actually a lot simpler than you may make it to be. A simple hi could possibly be the start of a relationship with the reference that's going to get you that dream job, or even that little bump to get you to a C at the end of the semester. Mm -hmm. It's okay to not know what you want to be yet. I went into college as an undecided freshman with no aim of what I wanted to be or even an idea of what I wanted to do. I think what helped me decide on what I wanted to do is actually just getting involved on campus and really just taking some time to find myself in this new environment I was in. Once I got on campus though, there were tons of resources for me to use that were there to help me figure out what I wanted to be. The only thing I will say when it comes to picking your major is to make sure that you're picking your major for you. Not for your mom, not for your dad, not for your grandma and not because it's in the family's bloodline but because it's for you because at the end of the day you're going to be the one working it for the rest of your life okay well not necessarily because you don't really have to work in your major after college but you do have to pay those loads back and why would you pay all that money for a major you don't even like so if you don't know what you want your major to be in, take some time to yourself and figure it out. It'll come to you. Use your resources. College is really expensive and a lot of people usually complain about it, including me. But there are so many resources on campus that you may or may not know of and guess what? They're all using your money. Attend the concerts, attend the activities, the nutritionists, get the t-shirts, the tutors, get the free pizza to the free writing centers, the gyms, the career center, get the cups, the mugs, the footprints, the shoes, the, the free socks, use everything. Anything that is on campus that is one free, cheap, or brought to you at a convenience, get your money's worth. Not all friends are good friends. I think this is something we learn throughout life period, but I think it gets a little bit more intensified once you get to college. So in college, you usually have your study friends, your work friends, your chilling friends, or eating friends, and your going out friends. You know, something like that. And I think a lot of the times where people mess up is when they mix their party friends with their study friends, or their study friends with their party friends. 
or even their short-term friends with their long-term friends. You will find that some friends are strictly only on occasion, whatever the occasion may be, whether it's studying, whether it's partying, or whether it's at work. Keep those friends in place and try not to mix the wrong ones together. You can even have distant friends, somebody you enjoy hanging around, but sometimes you just meet a lot of people on campus and no matter how hard you try, you can't call everybody friends. No matter how many no-named highs you give them. Hey girl, what's up? You look cute, yes? <laughs> what's her name again? What's her name? Take advantage of your independence. For a lot of people, college is the first real place of freedom. All rule is in your hands. When I say take advantage, I mean this is the time to really find yourself. Go out and do things. Explore. While you were home, your parents never allowed you to go to a party. Go to parties while you're in college. The beauty in this whole thing is you may discover that you don't even really like parties. And that the only reason why you thought you liked parties is because you weren't able to go to them. Take advantage of your independence, but do so responsibly. A lot of people abuse this independence and come out of college with a book full of regrets. Keep in contact with your parents. I know some of you guys are probably looking like, oh, my parents, why? I'm going to college to get away from them. But what I discovered while I was in college is I actually got a lot closer to my parents while I was in college than when I was in high school living with them. And I think the reason why that is is because now you're in this adult world or semi-adult world and you can see exactly what they were talking about when you were in high school. And I believe there's this growth that happens between us because of the departure. And you know, parents will just be parents. They care about you. A simple phone call to your mom or your dad telling them I'm okay, I'm doing well, whatever the context of the message will be, will probably lighten up their whole day. Find balance. It is very, very easy to get distracted in college. There is so much going on, so many fun things. This is their first time living this new life of a student and gaining all this independence and this is here and that is there. The greatest thing I can tell you in finding balance is to always keep your academics first. The purpose of you being on this campus right now is to get an education and greater yourself. So everything else behind that is really all just noise. I know I said to get involved earlier. Getting involved is still super important, but do not let getting involved consume you so much to the point where you're falling behind academically. Because fun is fun until you're failing. Partying is okay. I mean, I had my fair share of parties, if I do say so myself. <laughs> But too much of it, too much of anything can really destroy you. So although you're there for academics, do not let your academic life consume your whole entire college career either because I promise you, you will lose your mind. Stress is a real thing, depression is a real thing. Make sure to always take care of yourself as well. I know I'm saying all of these things are important and you may probably be thinking, okay, where am I gonna fit all these things into my day or into my life? But you will find a way. And when you find that way, you will feel so great. And last but not least, cherish every part of this beautiful journey. These past four years were the best years of my life. There's so much self-discovery that comes with college. There's so much growth that happens emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually that comes into the four years of college. You meet tons and tons of great people and build this great connection with them. I loved every single minute of college. The goods, the bads, all of that. At times it was an emotional roller coaster. At times you were broke, didn't know what to do, how to go about things but you had a community of both people right on behind you that just <sighs> I don't even know all the words to say to explain it because it's and it's an experience that you're just gonna have to experience for yourself. For anybody out there who's watching this that's about to become a freshman, you got this. I wish you the best of luck on your new journey with my whole entire heart. I pray that you conquer these four years and that by 2022, you are able to shine bright across that stage as you graduate and receive your diploma that not only indicates that you are ready to take on a professional career in whatever field you end up choosing, but also symbolizes your strength and your ability to triumph over all the obstacles that stood against you within these four amazingly long years. Congratulations to you upon your arrival there. I'll see you on the next video.